Our uh, first guest is a two-time Academy Award nominee whose films have made more than $3 billion. Oh, my God. Is the new motion picture Rambo, the fourth in the series, opens January 25th. Here he is, Sylvester Stallone. Happy New Year. So good. Nice to see you again. Now About you... that $3 billion. Yeah, it's Bruce? pretty nice, isn't it? Bruce, I don't have it. You must. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm here to support my friend Sylvester Stallone. Now, do you guys do, you guys do stuff together? Do you go out Whoa. and then... Uh... Well, I do. I help him get home at night. <laughs> it's, 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 we do a good thing. It's a good thing. Uh, reads me a little... Th reads me a little story. I clean, you know, put I... Him I to sleep, put him I to shake bed. the spit out of his harmonica. I, I got important Ooh. things. Ooh, yeah. that's, well, a, you real, know, that's a real friend. That's friendship. Yeah, it'll rust if you don't do that. Three uh, billion dollars right there, sitting right next to you, Dave. Now, Three and, billion. And what do you, uh, you also uh, uh, spend time with uh, the governor of California, is that we right? We do, actually, every Saturday. You know, at one time, Arnold and I were kind of like, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah. Really? Yeah, Cain and Abel, you know, like, you know, Ruth and Buzzy. We were just, we were just <laughs> weren't working together. Ruth and at, Buzzy. I don't know. <laughs> and anyway, uh, after our careers, and, you know, he's very competitive. And he became governor, and then I thought, well, well, good luck and all that. And then, 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 good luck. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> and then we started to build this relationship, and there's a place called Cafe Roma. We go out there and smoke a cigar, and yeah. before you knew it, they just started banning smoking. The next thing I know, the governor and I are like in an alley trying to right. grab a few puffs and yeah. discussing like how we can get, you know, balance everything, <laughs> balance the budget. And I said, I can balance it on my shoulder, or my finger, I can, like, nothing else. But anyway, he, he, um, he saw the first version of Rambo. I thought, right. how ironic is a fellow, you know, who's your main competition, right. be the guy who would see it. And he called up and said, it really stinks. No, so I say thank you. I don't and believe I, that he would say that. No, well, no, he but, really liked but, but, it. But what, what is it? Can you give us any insight as to what he might do when he leaves the uh, governor's mansion in Sacramento? Is he coming back to making films? Is, I mean, what else? He can't really run for anything else, can he? Well, actually, can he run for the Senate or the Congress? No, I think I think he's actually going to run marathons. <laughs> I, think it's like, I heard that, Bruce. You know, like, really? What, whatever. Yeah. Ten, ten K. Ten K. <laughs> Start slowly. Him. Fun run to begin with. No, I think you know what this this, this fellow here is. He's like a genius. You know, this is why you never judge a muscular book by its cover. Yeah. Like like I'm like a muscular magazine. He's a muscular book, and it, and what he does, you just can't tell. Well, uh, the begin. Everybody thought, oh, he's a bonehead. That's what oh, they thought. No. And then he comes in, and he got himself in a little bit of trouble early on, and then he was able to right the ship. And now I understand he's beloved in California. He's beloved, and he's he just learned how to walk on water. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's doing great. Now, um, just doing great. Let, let, let's talk about this uh, Rocky. How many Rocky films have there been? Uh, six or seven, six eight. Or seven. No, no, there's, <laughs> actually, there's six. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the, the most recent one is like a blockbuster. It does huge business. And, and, and that's amazing when you think of the lifespan of that film character, really. Well, when you think about it, between Rocky and Rambo, it's about 56 years. And, and coupled with the time in between films, like, you know, my career wasn't doing very well. That's 10 years of making potholders in Miami, so I wasn't doing much. But there. they were nice. They were very, very good. <laughs> you you good. sent them up, I yeah. remember. Beautiful work, yeah, really. Very good. It's like a chicken eating bread. That's it's it's yeah, very, chicken. very nice, very nice picture of it. <laughs> and those sold out immediately, and I thought, you know, I have to go back to work. Yeah. But I just wanted to end Rocky Balboa on a, on a positive note. Sure. I wasn't happy with, with the fifth one at all, and I literally spent... 10 years trying to eat all the negatives, and I couldn't, I couldn't do it, so I thought I have to make another one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, the Rambo... The this, Rambo. Is, uh, this is interesting. We have two characters, uh, similarities, contrasts, uh, Rocky and Rambo. They're kind of like... Uh, a, a bickering couple. Mm. You would have the, the very optimistic Rocky would be very, very nice. And then you have Rambo who wakes up in the morning and just, you know, gargles with quicksand. He's in a, he's just in a, not, not a, right. he's, he's just a dark right. kind of guy. So it's, it's great to be able to play back and forth, back and forth. And, the, and this Rambo, you might say he's a little grumpier than usual. Really? Yeah, it's jungle well, grumpiness. It's, jungle, uh, jungle grumpiness. He's been out there a long too time. Much time in the yeah, green. Too much time yeah. in the green. Yeah. yeah. Too much time yeah. in the green. But actually, I, I, I seriously, and there's no joke, this 
I've done action films before, mm -hmm. but this one is by far I'm the most proud of. Well, good for you. Yeah, That's nice you. to be able to say yeah. after all of this time yeah. making movies. Yeah, really, but really. now, what about this? Now, I don't want to tell you how to do your business or live your life, but and you must have thought about Everyone this. Everyone else does. They want to separate <laughs> up. What, what about uh, uh, Rocky's on vacation in Thailand? Yeah. And he's out at a restaurant with his family, and he runs into Rambo. Right. Ooh. And then they, there's a caper. Who wins? Well, no, they team up. They're buddies. They team up. <laughs> they do? Yeah. Okay. R&R. &R. That's right. There it is. Yeah. I, I think it works. You've thought about it, haven't you? You have thought about it. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce Willis. Here's what happened. Your buddy Bruce Willis drops in to steal the show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to support so much as so long, Dave. A great, great, great thief. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm, I'm going to be ripped off, that's the guy. That's yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk about the, uh, the, the movie. It's, uh, it's uh, Rambo is uh, uh, minding his own business. He's out there catching snakes, minding his own business. But with, really, that's what, catching, catching poisonous snakes. Looking for anti-venom. Uh -huh. And they said, oh, you know, we didn't have a big budget, so CGI snakes were out. They said, OK, why don't you try using these real ones? I said, oh, no problem. Now, I don't know if people are aware that, uh, you know, you know that, that theory that you can hold an alligator's mouth shut? Don't, yes, I've heard that. Well, when you tape a king a python, I mean, a king cobra's mouth shut, it works just the opposite. He goes, snap, and it opens. So about two or three times in the movie, you see me kind of like all of a sudden turning very feminine. <laughs> eek. 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 Oh, eek a eek. mouse. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. <laughs> I became like Dumbo's mother. Rambo Remember hops up on a chair. And I said, oh, oh, this is not working, man. Is that a gotta, lizard? Gotta, what is no. that? Somebody, somebody. <laughs> Take the snakes around the corner, give them a little beating or something. That's right. You know, Take them around the corner and give them a little beating. beating. No, well, that didn't that, happen. That, that, that didn't of actually not, work. No. So uh, the the he is a, a lone boat man. He's, he's 20 years in the jungle, hasn't mm -hmm. talked to anyone. And, and what's happening actually in a, a serious note in Burma is the largest genocide in the world. A civil war has been going on for 60 years. As we speak right now, people are going through hell and it's horacious and it's a brutal beyond belief. And I thought if I'm going to do an action film, I'd like to do something that also shows light on a, on a dilemma that perhaps can right. help people. So you have a cross between an action film and also something that's happening realistically. It's incredibly brutal. I'll tell you right now. And if, if you don't turn away from it a couple of times, then I haven't done my job really? because it, it should, it's a little disturbing, but it's also in the end. Yeah, you have a message. A, because the violence yeah. conveys a message, an yeah. honest, yes. Because we actually talked to the UN and, and, and other people. I said, please do not diminish this film by giving it a rating that is kind of like sugar-free action. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Let's, let's, let, I, want it, I want it to be real because that's the way it is. And, and quite often you'll see, uh, you know, acceptable violence. This, this is just brutality of war. But in the end, it all comes to, I think, a satisfying ending. But so they did. And I have to give the ratings board incredible kudos that they allowed this to be true. Now, do you have, for something like this, do you have to go and lobby for that position? In, in, in a way, absolutely. You, yeah. you, you have to go there and, and um, uh, kind of like with a can of gasoline in a match and say, if you don't do this, I'm really? it's good. Yeah, I'll well, on fire. I didn't realize it was that barbaric yeah, exactly. It, it, it's pretty, but they I respond mean, to that. Yeah, they do yeah. respond to fire. But, but so, so they, will, uh, they will appreciate the argument that the, the action actually conveys something greater it than does. just... It does. Uh, Absolutely, they do. They, they mm -hmm. finally say, you know what? This is an interesting uh, way of using our right. medium to, to, to help. And all the other, yes, hopefully that makes profit. Yes, the audience entertained. But also, whoever heard of Burma? Burma is the most savage hunter, overwhelming human rights violation on the planet, yet no one knows about it until two months ago when, they, when the, those poor monks were destroyed. Myanmar. Yeah. Yeah. My, yeah, they changed the name to Myanmar, but it's really Burma. Yeah. Um, on, on a different uh, note, you, you must know uh, Paul Tuttle and, and his son. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, they're, they're here, and they brought a bunch of bikes down. And I, I, you look like the kind of guy that might ride a bike. I can do a handstand on a bike. No, now, don't, don't start showing off, because... <laughs> We have no insurance. 
My old unicycle move. <laughs> so, so what? What do you? Your alluding? own unicycle. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You own a unicycle. What happened to the unicycle? There was a, an entire generation of unicycle guys gone. Really? That an entire the, generation of unicycle guys. When was the last time you saw a unicycle man or a plate spinner? That's right. Well, gone. I remember. Gone. Thank gone. God, Ed Koch is the one that cleaned up the unicycle ah. gangs because they, in New York City, you couldn't go anywhere. But those plate spinners are due. We'll bring them back for you. I hope so. Now, uh, Sylvester, tell the folks the scene we're going to see here. Uh, this is a scene where uh, Rambo has, no one knows exactly what he's doing. He's a boatman. He's been quiet. He's kind of almost been shy in this. But finally, he has to step up right. and show who he is. Okay. And he makes his debut. Opens January 25th, Rambo. Take a look. Yeah. Rambo, January 25th. It's been four and a half years since you've been here. That's crazy, isn't it? Uh, now think it over. Uh, we'll get it you a helmet. Like my, uh, my you... domestic life for four years. Yeah, you that's home. I can't no, believe that. Actually, yeah, I, I'll never do it again. I yeah. beg your forgiveness. Yeah, well, come on. And we got the bikes out. Think about it. If you're uh, taking a ride, we're going to go. We're, we're riding down to Battery Park later. But I, I mean, are you going to sit there like rumble? Are you going to be like the Diablo gang or something? <laughs> right. Really yeah. make it worth we're, my while? We're, we're going to take on the folks from the View. <laughs> I got it. Mel All right, we're going to take one-on-one with Mel's Angels. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Sylvester Stallone, ladies and gentlemen.